Welcome to this week's Wellness Wednesday video. My name is Paya Fitzgerald and I am your wellness tactician. And I am here on behalf of Wow Factor in partnership with Columbus City Schools Staff Wellness Initiative to bring you this week's video on leading from strength, not struggle. So for today, well, I'm sorry, my fault. I forgot, I'm a comedian, I gotta give you a joke, make sure I soften everything so that you can be ready to receive the information. So here it is, laugh at it, no matter what. Which letter of the alphabet is the most curious? You ready? Why? All right, go ahead and laugh it up. All right, speaking of curiosity, when that, that, that leadership framework that I talked about, one of the polarities is curiosity, which is leading from strength, over criticism, leading from a place of struggle. You might be saying, oh, okay. Typically though, we default to criticism. Whenever we're triggered by something, we usually default to the negative. And I wanna provide you with an opportunity where that doesn't have to take you out because criticism is depleting. Curiosity, what does that mean? What does that mean? Lean in, let me tell you about it. When you are moving or approaching a situation that's triggering from a place of curiosity, you are allowing yourself or positioning yourself to respond instead of react. When you approach it from a place of criticism, more than likely you are reacting, which is a way of giving your power away. If you respond from a place of curiosity, you become curious, like, well, maybe, what did that mean? What did they say? What did they mean by that? Or why did I respond that way? Or why am I thinking about it like that? That's going to allow you to take your power back. That's going to allow you to have a response. And it's going to create so much more freedom inside of you. Take a look at this cartoon. In this cartoon, you see two people looking at the same number. However, based on where their position, one person sees the number as a six and the other sees the number as a nine. Now, they're both right. But because they're seeing it from two different perspectives, there's that, that, that potential for a clash and someone being critical. You're not looking at this correctly. Whereas if they were both curious, well, hmm, why do you say it's six? Or hmm, why do you say it's nine? Now they're allowing themselves to move toward, towards each other uh, where they can come up with a solution. And instead of one person being right, they both can get it right and move forward. That's the key thing. We want to make sure when we're becoming curious, we're leading above the line, we're taking our power back, and, allow it, and it allows us to come together as opposed to pulling away with criticism. So what I want you to do for the next 24 hours, I want you to just kind of be curious. I want you to be more curious. When you find yourself triggered, ask yourself questions. Why am I feeling this way? You know, do I need to have a conversation? Are you critical because you're expecting people to show up as you? And what does that do? Is that the thing that's triggering you to be more critical? But I want you to be more responsive as opposed to reactive because curiosity looks good on you. Thank you for listening and stay tuned for next week's Wellness Wednesday video.